Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm TK Abreu. It's time to do our beginner's guide on Nita, so stay tuned. Nita's main attack is Rupture. It sends a shockwave forward from Nita for 5.5 tiles. Her main attack can hit multiple targets at once. Nita's main attack damage is 740 damage at level 1 and 1036 at level 10. Nita's reload speed is 1.25 seconds, making it one of the faster reloads in the game. Nita's health starts at 3,800 and goes up to 5,320, giving her a medium range of health. Nita's speed is average in the game at 720. Nita's super is a bear that she throws out from her, kind of like a Pokeball. This bear can be thrown up to 4.67 tiles away and over top of walls. The bear's movement speed is one of the slowest in the game at 620. The bear is a close range melee brawler with a range of 1.33 tiles. The bear health starts at 4,000 and attack damage at 400 at level 1 and goes up to 5,600 and 560 damage at level 10. Nita's star power is very, very useful as when she does damage to a player, the bear heals 300 health. And if the bear does damage to a brawler, she gets healed 300 health herself. Nita is a good brawler but becomes great when partnered with her bear. Her bear can be used as a shield, a way to flank people, or even chase them away from areas. Nita is often used as the same manner as tanks because of her medium health and because of her bear's medium health. Nita is average in most game modes. Nita's bear can actually see people in bushes and chase them when he can't even see them. Except for Leon. If Leon goes invisible, the bear loses interest and then starts chasing other brawlers that are closer. Let's jump into every game mode. In Gem Grab, Nita's main role will be aggro. Along with her bear, Nita can control the top and push people out of the center. Nita's bear is good for shielding, flanking, and scaring brawlers away from the gem mine. So make sure you take her into Gem Grab. Heist is an okay game mode for Nita. With her ability to hit multiple targets and her bear pushing people back from their safe, it is good to bring her in. She can also drop the bear on top of the enemy safe, forcing them to go back and defend it. Bounty is very hard for close range brawlers currently inside the meta, but as long as there's cover and bushes, she can pop out and do some damage. But along with her bear being used as a shield or the bear to chase people in certain directions, Nita is very good to be partnered up with longer range brawlers. In Brawl Ball, she is a fairly good brawler, along with her bear. As you can tell by now, she is okay by herself, but needs the bear to make her great. With her medium health and her bear, she's very good at defending the goal and pushing the other side. When she drops her bear, it's like a four on three game, causing the other team to panic when a bear starts chasing them down and forces them to waste shots on the bear. Inside of Showdown and Duo Showdown, it is a game mode where you want to use the bush camping strategies and making sure you always pick up boxes with lots of power-ups. Nita needs lots of power-ups. The bear can chase people out of bushes, which is good, so you don't always have to check bushes. As long as you're following your bear around, the bear will go to the closest brawler hiding in the bush. Make sure if you're going to go in the duo showdown that you pair up Nita with a longer range brawler. Nita is probably one of the best brawlers to take into a big game. As the boss, she can overpenetrate and hit lots of targets at once. And her bear has a lot of health and a lot of attack damage, making her one of the hardest brawlers to stop because everyone is forced to deal with the bear. As a hunter inside a big game, she's also good because the bear can actually see people hiding in the bushes. So if the boss is hiding somewhere, the bear can seek them out. Inside of Robo Rumble, she is Let's just say she's less than good. She can, can hit multiple targets at once, but she has such a short range, she has to wait for them to be fairly close. Her bear can distract the robots, but not for very long, as when the levels get harder, the enemy robots can do a lot more damage, and that bear gets taken out fairly quickly. And finally, my top six tips for Nita. Number one, don't waste the bear. Make sure you're using it as a shield to flank or to chase brawlers away. Because the bear is so slow, everyone can pick up the bear and everybody can run away for it. So if you just drop the bear and everybody's running towards it, they can kill the bear without the bear even having a chance to get an attack off. Number two, make sure you use cover and bushes on the map strategically because she is a close range brawler. 
Number three, quick fire is fairly good for Nita at close range. Number four, Nita is great as a supporter and very good with teammates. So make sure if you're going to take her into anything, make sure it's some 3v3 stuff or duo showdown is really good. She needs support and she needs to support somebody. Number five, if you're going to trophy push her, I would push her in gem grab, duo showdown, and maybe heist. But I would prefer brawl ball for Anita. And finally, number six, try to hit multiple targets at once because that's the best way to get the most damage and most bang for your buck with Anita. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode about Anita. I hope you guys learned quite a lot about her and how to use her in every single game mode. If you have any questions, comments, or things you want me to add in future brawler guides or game mode guides, make sure you leave those in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more content and more beginner's guides because that lets me know that you guys want more of what I'm giving you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Oh, my God.